Hey everyone, and welcome to another algorithm video to soothe those algorithm feelings. Today we're soothing the Swifty feelings because we have all the Swifty feelings. First things first, this is my favorite beer from Franconia, the northern part of Bavaria, and I'm drinking it out of a Bavarian Stein. That's not what we call it. You don't call this a stein. It's not a stone, is it? It's a cup. Yes, but are you sure the Bavarians don't call this a stein? I cannot speak for any Bavarian. We call it a stein because I thought you guys called it a stein, but clearly you don't drink enough beer to call it anything. Prost. It tastes like bacon. Mm, I can uh, smell the bacon. I love bacon. All right, now on to business. Last month, we went to the opening night of Taylor Swift's The Eras Tour. And my name is Everett Ray Aponte, so therefore, it's my tour. It's Eras Tour. You're several. And she just forgot the apostrophe. Of course, to go to the concert, I had to make sure that I turned this guy into a full-on Swifty. So if you want to see that video, you can click the card right up here. Although, honestly, I don't think it was that hard because Starbucks lovers also drive me insane. That's not the line. So in this video, we'll talk about our top five moments of the concert. My top five and her top five. So it's a top ten! amazing things about the Eras Tour is that Taylor Swift has many different openers for her 50 shows in the US and Paramore only opened the shows in Arizona which is one of the reasons I really wanted to be there. Paramore are an amazing band and they had a fantastic set. So my number five was also the opening act. I forgot her name. It was Gail. When we got to the concert, we arrived right when they started singing. And I was like, wait, I recognize this song. Dude, she was singing Alanis Morissette's You Oughta Know. So while we were running, trying to find our seats, I'm like, yeah, 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 oughta know. So that was my favorite moment was getting there. However, we didn't get video of it. So I'm just gonna show you her most popular song. Number four favorite moment was making friendship bracelets and exchanging them with other Swifties and meeting other Swifties in general. Which wasn't hard because there were 70,000 of them. All the super cool outfits, the excitement, everything was so palpable and especially after the pandemic I just really enjoyed being in that moment. And so did Taylor apparently. I don't know how to process all of this and the way that it's making me feel right now. Because it's been a really long time since I've been on tour. And I've missed you so much. I'm so happy to see you. I, I can't even go into how much I missed you because there's no way to verbalize it. I just was so very aware of how much time I was going to have to spend away from you. Just know how much it means to me personally to be able to say to you, Welcome to the Eras Tour. So for my number four, let me explain something to you. I come from Austin, the live music capital of the world. So I'm used to going to small venues 
the most I've ever paid was like 60 bucks for Tool. I did see Radiohead at Red Rocks. That was my biggest event. The sheer magnitude of this concert blew my mind. So for my number four, I have to say, my favorite part about it was the set, the transitions, and the stage. Like when she dived into the stage and swam. In the beginning, when she transitioned out of Lover Era and those sparkles going down, oh, and she's yeah, magic, yeah, yeah. she's just gone. Yeah, it was really cool when the flares came down and then it sort of transitioned into the screen. That was cool. champagne problems. Hold on, you can't put two for one. Uh, first of all, it's not fair to limit me to five things that are my favorite moments because I need at least 22. But let me explain why they go together. All Too Well 10 Minute Version and Champagne Problems are both songs that shouldn't really work in a stadium, but they do because Taylor wanted to scream, sing them with her fans, and we definitely all did. Oh, they scream sang them. <laughs> and she's fucked in the head, those lines go together. So for my number three, it's also a technical thing. Not only was the stage cool and the effects, but they gave each audience member a wristband which would light up in coordination with the song. And so from across the stadium, you could see like patterns with the lights. There were heart shapes, they would do waves, and then during reputation, they had this snake. moment has to be the acoustic set. It's just Taylor and her fans. Nobody else is on stage. Nobody else is playing. Nobody else is singing. It's just her. It's so intimate. And each concert has a different set for her acoustics. So she has two unique songs that she plays for every single concert. And so it's almost like the horoscope. She gives you the songs you need to hear on that day. So for the first concert, she played her first single, Tim McGraw. So played Mirrorball. I mean, what an amazing song selection we got. I mean, we're so So, so let me, I gotta ask, what, if you're saying it's like a horoscope, what does Mirrorball mean to you? Mirrorball is the song for all the burnt out gifted kids. I'm a burnt out gifted kid. I'm just gifted. I'm not ready to be burnt out. <laughs> but we're always spinning, always trying to keep the light on us, like a mirror ball. <laughs> We're always trying to get people's attention. We're always oh, like, oh, that's yes. the one where she says, I want to keep you looking at me. I actually really relate to that. I was class clown in high school, and it's a thing that I have. I really need the attention from a lot of people. I mean, we are in this industry that we work in because we crave the attention. That's the only reason anybody ever gets into Hollywood because they need the attention, because their parents didn't give it them. Brian Jack is a kid. So for my number two, I'm gonna be totally a dude here because it was reputation. I mean, guys. Everett is a total reputation girly, let me just tell you. Totally! I mean, you should have seen it. It was so sexy. <laughs> Thank you. 
by the way, if we want to get into the Gaylor thing, I don't think she's straight up gay, but she's probably bi, at least bi curious. Taylor does not write hairpin drop for the hairpin not to drop. Okay, perfect transition. My number one moment was Shade never made anybody less gay. Shade never made anybody less gay. You need to calm down. What an epic performance and the fact that it is in the show. The rainbow colors all over the stadium and the fact that she's gonna sing it in Texas, in Florida, in Tennessee, in all those places that have recently made gay kind of illegal or that are trying to ban drag shows, that are trying to make laws about what we can do with our bodies and Taylor is saying, no, absolutely not. Shade has never made anybody less gay. And the fact that 70,000 people are screaming it is showing people what we stand for. All right, so for my number one, it is definitely the finale. I mean, wow, it just kind of blew my mind. There were fireworks inside the stadium, the lights going everywhere. Kind of wish I was on true. it's clearly the spectacle that really kind of blew my mind. I mean, I like the music, it's okay, I'm not super into pop, but it made me appreciate her music for sure. I'm kind of a Swifty almost. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I've, I definitely have been humming her songs in the shower. <laughs> Don't forget to check out our episode from last week where she turns me into a Swifty. Make sure you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell so you get notified when we release another video. And thank you to all of our Patreons for keeping this channel special. We love you all. If you want to become a Patreon, join the family. The link is down below. I need another beer. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to go back. I'm going to the very last show in August. I am so excited. Oh, I love this tapestry. <laughs> Guys, really, honestly, my number one was actually after the concert. We went to my favorite fast food restaurant because they don't exist in California, but they exist in Arizona. What a burger. So we just went to Taylor Swift concert for Josie, but I get a little happy surprise in the end. I missed you so much. Always better than In and Out. Thanks for watching. Cheers!